great morning <laughs> from Bobblehead Homestead I am Jeff today is Tuesday it's gonna be bright and sunny today low 90s and yep that's what you get here in uh, late August I guess but there was a decent breeze yesterday so it wasn't it wasn't so bad like the heat of uh, July anyway <laughs> there's a big old dumpster behind me and I just uh, Am I dreaming? Am I still in bed dreaming? The last couple days have been unbelievable. Okay, uh, where do I even start today? Come out, new rooster dude. A quick update. He hopped up on the top perch there last night with the ladies and all is well. Came out uh, this morning no issues and it's just you know chickens just they're not like cats I guess they just well uh, hens and roosters I should say they just accept each other right off the bat and go on their merry way introducing new hens to other hens is a different thing that's punky Brewster but anyway yeah quick update roosters doing great I'll check in on him again today I'm sure good morning number two and four baby chicks Yes. Okay, I haven't finished this chicken coop yet. Um, it's functioning, so, you know, uh, sometimes that's just good enough for now. And I will, I will get to it, maybe some of it today, I don't know. There's just a lot happening here right now. But if you want to check out someone who is actually uh, probably going to end up finishing his little chicken coop before me have a look at start from seed homestead uh, Jason he's up in Canada he's uh, getting started on a big beautiful property and uh, uh, an amazing guy some big dreams uh, already has some accomplishments under his belt and just a joy to watch so go please have a look at start from seed homestead See the top of the door there? He did the top of his differently, and I liked his design better. I copied uh, Grass-Fed Homestead with how I connected that, and he did it differently, and it worked great for him. He has to worry about a snow load in the winter. I don't have that problem here. So right above that uh, top of the door, he ran like a ridge pole. I don't know what you call them. Uh, a 2 by 4 from the front of the coop to the back of the coop and that helps support it all the way down the middle at the top and he can also hang waterers and feeders off of it and so that's a really great idea so if you're here <laughs> to learn how to build one of these chicken coops uh, go have a look at start from seed homestead and I think you'll learn even more from him okay good morning Fifi yeah, there's nothing in there right now, but you know what a cat carrier is, don't you? You're like, the last time I was in one of those. Fifi and Grumpy. That's, she's acting like she did with Beavis. Beavis was a previous cat here. And he was, uh, he was annoying and loud. And that's why I called him Beavis. Okay. That might be where she's going to hide today. And Bob's in one of his napping spots. Well, I was starting to tell you about Fifi. She's acting with Grumpy like she was with Beavis. She is leery of him. So last night he's in there and Fifi and Bob have to walk right by Grumpy to get to their food. So <laughs> um, that was not by design, but it's, it's worked out okay. Uh, Bob has no problem with him. I, I went ahead and posted that video really quick last night so that, you know, anybody worrying about uh, Grumpy and Bob getting along could see that. And Fifi is, Fifi and Beavis, she was just leery of him. She would always keep an eye on him, you know, walk uh, cautiously around him, and that's what she was doing last night to get to her food. She would uh, walk in the living room and walk cautiously around Grumpy and... Uh, so, yeah, they won't fight, though. Fifi's not a fighter. She's a player, not a fighter. Everything's going good on the cat front. That's, that's great so far. So here's the official release. You ready, man? 
Yeah. Oh, he's so happy to be out. Oh, I'm happy that he's not running off. Come here, Maverick. Come here. He's so happy. This is a before picture of the first project of the day. This little shed thing is out at the end of my driveway by the lane. And it's just taking up space. And it's full of junk and a lot of it's been cleared out. But there's so much more left. And it's, well, you've seen it before. Okay, we're going to work now. Yay! We're ready. Even the trash is of attracting the beautiful butterflies. I believe that is a black swallowtail with the blue. There he is. He was just eating and he finished eating while I went to grab the camera. But he is, he's relaxed. He's hanging out here and, you know, stopping in every few minutes and things are going great. I'm not, I'm not going to be pushy with him or anything like that. I'll let him come to me. All right, Grumpster. I'm filming you for a second. That's okay. It's almost ready to come down. It's getting really wobbly now. All right. And while I've got your attention, I have an announcement to make. Yesterday was my best YouTube day ever. Really? Yes. Just, I'm up to 2,200 subscribers and all the great comments. Your commenters and subscribers have been awesome. So, thanks to them. Yep. You, you guys are awesome. Yep, they are. Cool. Oh, I have to drill back here. We might knock this over in a minute. All right. Yeah, that's a good feeling for me, and you did all the work. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now we got to clean it up. Yeah. You can eat that, Betty White. It's fine. It's just a banana. You've seen bananas before. There you go. Yeah, Private Benjamin. Have a banana. <laughs> and the shed there is torn apart and he separated all the aluminum so I can just haul it off to the to the scrapyard and then all this stuff see now it's manageable for me now I can uh, now I can just get to that trash and get rid of it as I as I go because a lot of that's smaller so I can put it in trash bags and get rid of it with my regular trash service but let me show you what they're doing now <laughs> oh man, I never would have guessed that would be any place for a human being. But yeah, he's working on just getting the roof off this side and wonderful. <laughs> 